lot of people in the past have heard me talking bad about Fate Apocrypha. Being the huge Fate fan that I am, I don't want this to be a common thing. I don't want people to think that I hate Fate Apocrypha. And I want to make this short video really quick, really brief, mainly because, hey, I'm going to be busy for a while and I won't be able to make that much content. So I feel like making this video is just the perfect time to discuss my feelings, my true feelings towards Fate Apocrypha. So, what is the truth? Well, the truth is, I'm not a fan of Fate Apocrypha. Out of all the good Fate series, uh, you know, shows and all that, it's my least favorite. And that's not because it's bad, that's just because it's not as good as, you know, all of the ones that I really love. And, you know, there are many reasons for that, and I will get into that, but I want to start off by saying that... I like I said, I don't hate this show. There are many things that I actually do like about it. I like the animation, even though a lot of people think it's very weak. I think it's pretty good. At times, it could be very nice, and the action is always very intense, and I always was engaged in that aspect of the show. And all in all, there are many things about Fate Apocrypha I find to be very appealing. But these are mainly small things, or character moments, or small arcs. For instance, I'm a big fan of all the servants, for the most part, all the servants. I think all of them are very cool. My favorites being, you know, uh, the ruler, which is Joan of Arc. I think she's awesome. Astolfo is a very cool character, an interesting one at that. Mordred is awesome. You know, all these characters, Atlanta, you know, all these characters are very cool. Jack the Ripper, Frankenstein's monster. All these characters that I can name, I could probably name more, but just getting into all of them are very cool. And they all play like a very interesting role. I like the whole idea of, you know, seven mages uh, versus uh, seven, seven, seven on each team, 14 equaling uh, servants that have to fight. I think that sounds really cool. In, in uh, the manga, for instance, I think it's very well done, but in the execution of the show, it does get quite wonky. Like I said, there are many things about the show I like. And just to discuss a few, like the whole arc with Frankenstein's monster, I thought that was very neat. Like, her character development was great. I thought Mordred was really interesting as well. Her character development showing a little bit of her past. We get to see a little bit of Saber. That was a really badass moment. A lot of all the fan service, I'll just say right now, I really enjoyed. I liked seeing all the characters. I loved seeing the, the arc where... Of course, Joan of Arc is trying to stop Jack the Ripper, and where everybody's trying to stop Jack the Ripper, I thought that was awesome. And there are small things like that in the show that really kept it going for me. Really, the characters, the servants, and those small little character arcs is what I really, really liked in the show. And on top of that, I really love the voice actors of all of the servants. I thought they all were a perfect match. You know, a few that really got me was uh, Mordred. I thought she was very entertaining, very energetic. I thought Joan of Arc was absolutely perfect. I loved her character, the way they characterized her in here. It was very, very well done. Shakespeare was also pretty funny. And, you know, of course, you have all the other ones. You know, Karna is also amazing. Siegfried is uh, okay in the beginning. He has a pretty good arc. But what is it that I don't like about the show? That's the thing that people ask me all the time. What is it that I don't like? And if I'm going to be honest, there's not too much I don't like. It's more just stuff that I'm not a fan of and if i'm gonna be honest it's not a lot of stuff that oh i despise or oh i hate this it's more just stuff that i don't agree with the first thing i don't agree with are well the mages the mages in every single fate anime are always interesting even if they're just there for a little bit they're always engaging they're always like oh you get to see their ideals and there's a dark twist to them and there are some here too of course you know you have you know kotomina shiro who is the main antagonist of the show so yeah, you do have that, but for the most part, I never really found any of the mages that interesting. Kaolas was okay, he was fine, you know, I believe her name was uh, Fide, or Fidori, Fidori, uh, I don't know, some European name. It's like, oh, okay, she was, she was also pretty interesting, I liked her, uh, you know, uh, all the characters, I mean, they were okay, but they were nothing, like, amazing. They just kind of had simple personality traits or simple motivations that kept me, like, mildly interested. But for the most part, it was like, meh, I can't really get into it. And that was a big problem for me. And then don't even get me started with the mages on Red Team over there. They were not even in the show, really, except for Kotomine Shido. He was the only mage of Red that was played a 
prominent role in being the antagonist. And of course, not just him. Kaidi was also a really big part of the show, and I liked him just fine. He was actually one of the more entertaining mages, but I don't know. He was okay. He, he was pretty good. I liked him design-wise. I liked the voice actor, and I liked a little bit of his personality and characteristics. I like how he was a lone wolf. But like I said, my main problem with the show was just none of the mages were that interesting to me. Then there's the second problem I had with the show, and that was, well, the, the main plot. The main plot didn't grab me like the last ones. It wasn't it's not that it wasn't dark enough, because, you know, I mean, Fate Cowled Linear Prism Elia isn't necessarily dark, well, although it does get dark, but it's not as dark. Here, there just wasn't that much to work with for me. Uh, like I said, the little individual character arcs were good, but I wasn't that interested in what Kotomina Shido was trying to do, like keeping the Grail to himself and like betraying the Mages of Red. It's like, okay, that, that that's fine, I guess, but he's just not as good as the other the other villains in the series and that was another problem I had with it. There was also just a lot of disappointing aspects to this show. One of the most disappointing things is that Vlad the Impaler, who was the leader of the uh, team of black, I, I found him to be very, very, un a very cool design. I was like, man, I can't wait to see him as Dracula. This is when it was coming out. In the manga, he looks very badass, but in the anime, not so much. It was really, really lame. It was one of the worst designs in a fate show that I've seen. It was very lame and underwhelming. And that was and that is a common theme throughout the show. It, the rest of the show is pretty underwhelming, except for certain aspects where the action is really good. The story for me was just very just like meh. And uh, yeah, this is this disappointment, this just kind of kept going and going where, I expected this to happen, and I didn't, and even if it, it was a subversion of my expectations, I use that in quotation marks, subversion, it wasn't clever, it was more just like, uh, okay. But honest to God, all the things I just mentioned are really just nitpicks. I could love the show, even with those problems, but my main issue with the show is the main issue most people have with Fate of Apocrypha, Sieg. The main character is Sieg, and Sieg is boring. He is a boring character, not well written, and someone I just really did not enjoy listening to or watching on screen. At no point was I ever invested in his story, and I never really got why everyone cared about him. Astolfo risked his life for this idiot. You know, Joan of Arc was also also risking her life for this idiot. Even coming up with a romance, even I don't know. It was just kind of meh. I didn't really like him as a character, and I think this is—I think this is one of those complaints where I think most people will understand where I'm coming from because I've seen a lot of people just make fun of Sieg because yeah, he's just a very weak character. He's not interesting. I don't like his motivations. I don't really care about the the whole his army that he's trying to protect. He's like, I don't really care. I wanted to see more conflict with the mages, but instead we focus entirely on Sieg. He is the main character of the show. And because of Sieg, you don't really get to see Siegfried, which I actually did like, you know, Saber of Black. I wanted to see more of him, and I guess you do see more of him, but again, he's in, he's within Sieg. And like I said, I don't like Sieg. And uh, that, that's probably the biggest problem I have with the show. I know this, this is a very rambly, just rant. I don't have a script right now, but I'm just kind of venting my thoughts because this was on the top of my head. I watched one of the fight scenes from Fate Apocrypha and just remembered just why don't I like this show that much and well all those feelings just came back and I felt like making this video because I know a lot of people are interested in why I find it to be my least favorite Fate anime. I think what it boils down to was expectations though. My expectations were f for Fate Apocrypha were immense. I wanted it to be the best, the next best thing. You know, I watched... Fate Zero, it was the best thing I'd ever seen at the time. Then I watch, you know, Fate Stay Night, it was the best thing. And then Fate Cowed Linear Prism. All these things were getting better and better with time. And in, in time, they just, they really mastered their craft. Whereas Fate Apocrypha was the first Fate series that I really didn't appreciate as much as the other ones. Now, again, that's not to say I don't like it. There's a lot of things I love in Fate Apocrypha. And would I recommend it to people? Yeah, if you want to have a fun time, go ahead, check it out if you're already a fan of Fate. If 
you're not, I wouldn't suggest watching it first, but it is a fun show. Like I said, I do like Fate Apocrypha, but it's just not my favorite. It's definitely my least out of the ones that I like. This is not counting Studio Dean. It's not even counting Fate, uh, Fate Extra. Like, forget about that stuff. This, out of all the good Fate products, it's my least favorite. Some may agree, some may disagree, but at the end of the day, I don't care. <laughs>